That's a great question because it reminds me of a, a, a question we've had in the classroom. Can you preach a sermon without a biblical text? <laughs> and we've had many go-arounds uh, with that uh, at some points. I think preaching emerges out of the Bible. I, I think if it does not, one enters into what I would call generic preaching of, all, of the worst sort. It, it, it becomes thematics uh, that probably depend more on cultural interpretation than anything tied to scripture. So when I teach preaching, the first course we have, and we're always experimenting with different formats, uh, is an introduction to homiletical theory. And the students, many of them, yearn for a quick fix on form, a form which could be applied, applied to any biblical text. And I think one of the crucial parts of teaching homiletics for me is to say, but it's the text and its mysteries and its twists and its turns that are going to decide finally what this sermon might look like. It's not going to be a form that you impose on a text. And so the primacy of Bible and preaching for me is central. And whenever possible, I try to set up my syllabi in relationship to what the biblical studies people are doing. For example, in one of the intro courses, they will preach texts that they have exegeted uh, in a Bible study course that semester, just to make sure that they come uh, with as much preparation as possible. So I guess I would say Bible is central, but, but how one does that uh, is always open to question because there are so many ways one can do that.